And as the nation prepares for another budget presentation, we ask whether Ghana can achieve an improved budgetary position over 2011, considering some significant economic and political challenges in 2012. The following desk report highlights the major components in the 2013 budget. Unlike 2011, when Ghana recorded one of the highest GDP growth rates in the world, 14.4%, 2012 was inundated with significant economic and political challenges. The nation also witnessed industrial disharmony, resulting in several strikes in 2013. Fuel price hikes and other allegations of corruption in government also bedeviled the economy. Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, said Takwe, on Tuesday, March 5, 2013, presented the government's fiscal policy statement for the year 2013 to Parliament. The theme for the 2013 budget reflects how to sustain the confidence of the public in the economy. Despite several government interventions, 2013 could not retain the single-digit inflation and improved budgetary position of 2011. For major achievements of the economy, the agricultural sector recorded a growth rate of 2.6 percent, up from 2012, an actual outrun of 0.8 percent in 2011. The industrial sector with a share of 27.6% recorded a growth rate of 7% in 2012 as against a target of 15.8% and an actual outturn of 41.1% in 2011. The services sector exceeded its 2012 target of 7.7% by 1.1 percentage points to register a growth rate of 8.8%. An overall fiscal deficit equivalent to 12% of GDP against the target deficit equivalent to 6.7% of GDP for 2012. The country has set its medium-term targets for 2013-2015, an average GDP growth rate of at least 8% per annum, a single-digit rate of inflation, an overall average budget deficit equivalent to 5% of GDP, and gross international reserves that will cover not less than four months of import goods and services. Its macroeconomic targets for 2013 are a real non-oil GDP growth rate of 6.5%, real overall GDP growth including oil of 8%, average inflation of 8.9% and period inflation of 9%. Overall budget deficit equivalent to 9% of GDP and gross international reserves of not less than three months of import cover for goods and services. We ask whether the economy is ready for the reduction in grants and aid from donor countries as customary with countries attaining lower middle income status.